Hey guys, what's up? My name is Claw, and today I'm sorry for taking a break without telling anybody. Just a little one. But what you guys are seeing on the screen right now is some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered uh, P90 gameplay on shipment. I start off a little rough in this match, but then I, I end up getting there eventually. And um, you guys might not be able to tell the difference, but um, I got a pop filter for my microphone, so every time I go and b and like spurt bursts of air into the microphone that's toned down a lot because it's like mesh cloth mesh that's like and i don't know how to explain it but you probably know what a pop filter is anyways i'm gonna get into the video and the video is what i want to talk about is what do i think and you guys think the next call of duty is gonna be or should be Okay, what do you think it should be? Because I don't think it should be with jetpacks and all that bullshit. Because, like, okay, sure, I'm first prestige level, like, what, 28, 30-ish on Infinite Warfare, right? But it got boring so fast. Like, I'm back playing Modern Warfare Remastered again. Um, I'll actually have a prestige video out uh, tonight, and this video will be up after that. So, um... Yeah, personally, I think that Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, huh, the next Call of Duty game should be in the modern day, or like, older. Like, in my opinion, Black Ops 2 is a little too much in the future, but like, that's probably the max I would go as like another Black Ops 2. I really like, like, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, that style of Call of Duty. Like, I know a lot of people want, like, a World War One shooter, but I personally just want, like, a modern-day shooter. That's my preference on the matter. But, like, I think, or what I've heard is, like, apparently Activision has patented the name to a Call of Duty that, like, hints at it being World War Two. So, I mean, hopefully, hopefully Sledgehammer Games is smart enough to realize that Call of Duty fans want a boots on the ground Call of Duty. Like, that just, like, baffles me, you know? Like, so you're sitting at Infinity Ward, right? And you're going, hmm. So, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 got about 10 million sales in their first week. And then you look at Black Ops 3, which was a really good game, and it got about 3 million sales in its first week. Hmm. Yep, that's it. Let's make another Call of Duty with jetpacks. Okay. So, Infinite Warfare ended up being, like, the most disliked video that's not music on YouTube. And I don't know the exact number of dislikes. I just know that I've heard that everywhere. I looked at the video one time. Like, the Infinite Warfare trailer... So, like, Modern Warfare Remastered is an insanely good game. It is just brought up so well. Everything is the exact same. It's like the Call of Duty 4 meta that I never got to play. Like, I played Call of Duty 4, but I never played it when it was in its prime. So, this I, I adore this game. Like, this game, oh my god. I just I adore it. I'm going to be first prestige soon, but... It's going to be Gucci. So, like, that just kind of, like, baffles me. Like, so, you're sitting at the top of this corporate company. Call of Duty sales are going down. Yeah, let's implement some more jetpacks. That just, that doesn't make sense. That just, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, how can you just, from a consumer standpoint, I think that... They should have made just another straight boots on the ground Call of Duty. They should have made Modern Warfare Remastered and then another Modern Warfare game. Like, three years from now, if Infinity Ward still gets another chance, please, God, Infinity Ward, make Modern Warfare 4. Like, it kind of, like, it kind of annoys me because, like, you'll see these people, yeah, I'm such a fan of Call of Duty. Oh, I remember in, like... Hmm, 2007 when Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 came out before Modern Warfare 1 and Modern Warfare 2. It's like, are you dumb? Like, you're, you say you're a Call of Duty fan, but yet you still call COD 4 Modern Warfare 1 Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. 
that just that baffles me but like i think they should make a boots on the ground call of duty sledgehammer games please if you're watching this you you never will but if anybody please god make a boots on the ground either modern day or like world war ii vietnam the cold war somewhere in there just make a boots on the ground call of duty that's all i want that's all i ask i'm pretty sure that's what all call of duty players ask old call of duty players because like i feel like now like back in the day in like modern warfare 3 i was like 12 nope i was 12 yeah i was 12 because when black ops 2 came out i was 13 so in my opinion like this year i'm gonna be 17 and that's what four call of duties ahead yeah something like that i don't know but in my opinion there was so many people that was that were like um oh how do i put it they were like older like you know like from the anywhere from like 15 to like i'm gonna say like 23 or 24 somewhere around there and now it's 12 year olds honest to god like you'd run into the squeaker here now in modern warfare 3 like that was me that was i was the squeaker but like yep there are just oh lord every there's I've met, like, older people in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered when I do talk on my microphone, which is, like, never, but, yep, back in the day, there used to be 18-year-olds, 15-year-olds, you know, and it just kind of, like, baffles me, like, you know, you had that older generation, and now they're just, like, granted, a few of them probably grew up, you know, a bunch of people probably hit, like, ages 22, started going back to school, or going to school, getting a job and you know like living life like how it's supposed to be lived well not how it's supposed to but you know what i mean but like there's still that age group that like they moved on like they're now playing like battlefield one and like i have battlefield one i do i bought it like i pre-ordered it but i've played it like twice three times i i don't know what it is but like i expected battlefield one to be like a lot better than it is. I expected it to be, um... Oh. I expected it to be, like, Modern War... Like, feel... Like, Modern Warfare 2. I don't know why. I just... I didn't realize that it was, like, actually World War 1. But it's a really good game. Regardless. If I don't care for it or not. But... Yeah. I just... Please. Boots on the ground. Call of Duty. Because, like, Call of Duty, the new generation's taking it over. It's so dumb. These kids are freaking out, like, Oh, yeah, boots on the ground is so slow, and you gotta move around so much. And it's like, buddy, that's how Call of Duty was meant to be played. Like, it is a shooter game. You're not supposed to be in jetpack shooting lasers and having, like, fucking space portal grenades in your ass pocket. Like, come on. Where Where's the good... I remember, like being so hyped because I I don't remember how I got Modern Warfare 3 but I got it on like the release day or like a two days afterwards or something but I remember Black Ops 2 my dad came in no that was Modern Warfare 3 okay so Modern Warfare 3 I was sitting in a restaurant and my dad got off work late or so he said and he comes in and we're sitting there and we eat dinner and I'm like I'm begging him for the new Call of Duty I'm like 12 year old you know i just got into call of duty i'm like please dad please buy me the call of duty please and he's just like hmm i don't know maybe maybe not and then like i was 11 12 somewhere in there i don't even remember but and then like after dinner he like pulls out two copies of modern warfare 3 and says that one's for him and one's for me and i just remember being like the happiest little kid that anybody's ever seen and, like, that was, in my opinion, I started, like, I did play Black Ops 1 and uh, Modern Warfare 2. But, like, in my opinion, like, my Call of Duty, like, career, per se, started in Modern Warfare 3. And that's, I think that's why Modern Warfare 3 is my favorite Call of Duty game. And that's why I adore it so much. Because, like, I think it's, like, whatever, like, game you start on, that'll be, like, your favorite game. And... Modern Warfare 3 is still a... It's a great game. It's... 
I mean, going back and playing it. Oh my god. I'm in love. Like, I think, like, every year they should also remaster a Call of Duty. Because, like, you got three years now. I mean, you used to have one year for, like, each Call of Duty. Right? And now that they've got three years, they should be able to make, like, at least one remaster. Because, like, if you think about it, remaster Call of Duties. You don't need to think of the maps. You don't need, like, how to build the maps, what they should look like. You don't need to think about how to build the guns, uh, the perks, nothing. They're already there. You just need to uh, remake them, remaster them, you know? Anyways, guys, uh, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Um, there will be daily content from here on in. Uh, I was just, I was doing stuff. I was busy with school. I'm trying to get a job. And, you know, you know how, like, the teenage life is. But, anyways, guys, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Claw, and peace.